Hey everybody, Shama32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the seventh episode of season one of Our Flag Means Death. This one is entitled This Is Happening. I've said it for the last few episodes. I love this show so much. I am fully into it. Absolutely adore it. It's like episode five is like the favorite episode I've reacted to on the channel of any show. It was incredible. Last episode was incredible too. There were some beautiful moments like that episode, that episode, that um, shot of and scene of um, Blackbeard in the bathtub because he had flashbacks because he killed his father and made up the story about it being the Kraken. It is the Kraken. It was beautiful. But the shot from the mirrors was great and seeing him curled up in the bathrobe or underneath um, Steed's bathrobe was and crying was just beautiful and sad. Now, I hadn't realized it was Steed's bathrobe. Yeah, he was curled up under cuddling. Now, I think somebody pointed it out. I have read some comments. I haven't replied to any. I know I'm way behind on them. It's just once I get behind on something, it gives me anxiety trying to get started on it. So I will reply to comments. It's just getting myself to do them. It's a difficult thing. But I'll get there. But it was a really good episode. Everybody got into the thing. Like, I thought they were going to take on the ship or take over the ship, loot the ship. But they didn't. They just got them onto the ship and then scared them and they left. But everybody into it, even Jim. And Jim's, like, being like, yeah. Not the character. The character's really cool. But the character themselves would be like, mm, okay, I'll, I'll just be, like, not been, although I think maybe since everybody realizes they're not a man, that they are coming more out of their shell a bit more, maybe, because they don't have to hide anymore. But it was a really good episode. Everybody got involved. It was so cool. And I love, I've said it before, I love Fang. Poor Fang had to kill him. His dog had to die. Poor Fang. I really do love Fang. Oh, is he? <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of the moment. Where um um Steve Blackbeard gets Steve to stab him with the with the sword, and obviously in a bit that he got um took it in a bit that he had scar tissue on, and somebody pointed out that was very sexual, and that but it was definitely sexual. What is he thought they were doing? What he was overhearing, <laughs> or is he? But I do feel sorry for Izzy. Like he's an interesting character for Izzy. Interesting character. I'm not sure how to read him, like his motivations. Obviously, he went to Jackie, which is like, that's going to be interesting because I didn't even know if we'd see Jackie again. But it's going to be interesting that because Jackie's going to want to come after Jim. I've already forgotten the name that Jackie knows him by. Um, I was trying to make sure I didn't say the female name. And then I said him and said, I, I've been doing well. I've been doing well. I'm just stumbling over my words and I've just recorded Doctor Who. I'm stumbling over my words. Apologies for anything now. My mouth's a bit dry and like sticky and it's ugh. But that's going to be interesting to see what Izzy does now now that he's no longer on the ship. Or, or Izzy. I like that. Like, I really like the. Okay, Steve got stabbed by Izzy, which we don't like. But I think Steve wanted that. He knew it would get stuck in that mask because he knew the type of wood it was, and how strong it was, and he knew it would break the sword. And obviously, Blackbeard was a better teacher than he we would have thought. He's good, so we, sh we should have known. I should have known. He sh Blackbeard should have had more. He said he thought that good. He hadn't taught him that well. Obviously, he done taught him the important things, at least for Steed's techniques, anyway. But I, I love how into it everybody was. Like, they were cheering him on. It was awesome. Except for when he, like, slapped Izzy with the sword. And I think out to Adewale. It's like, oh, for God's sake, type thing. But they were all super supportive. It was awesome. It was like, everybody was a crew, was a team. It Like, especially when they were, like, doing the play. Although Steed was, like, riding them a bit hard, trying to get it all sorted and that. But he was really into it. It was a fun episode. But it's got um, it's gonna have consequences because obviously Izzy went to um Jackie, 
And then obviously we saw about the English and um the Admiral's is it Admiral? The bro the guy with the sword for his eyes, now twin is gonna be coming after them. So that's gonna be happening at some point too. And like we've got this episode and two more. I'm see gonna I'm interested. I'm stumbling over words. I'm interested to see how they wrap everything up in these three episodes. And obviously we've got season two coming. I said it before. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed they release it in the UK about the same time and we don't have to wait a year. A freaking year for it. I don't want to get spoiled for it and I want to know as soon as you guys know. I need to know everything. I just need more. I need more. I wish I could stay up and watch the other two episodes after this. It's already quarter to 11 at night. I don't have the time. Um, I, in case everybody didn't put the seed... Bleh, bleh, scratch that. I'm stumbling over my words. I don't know what it is tonight. It's because I'm trying to get too much at, at the same time. Maybe. That's my excuse. But in case people didn't see the video I put up, from the 17th to the 23rd, I think it is, which is not this, not this week, this is released in, but the coming week, I'm not releasing any videos because it's going to be a super busy week for me. It's going to be a hectic few months from now on, I think. Looking for houses and then moving is going to be a nightmare. But yeah, so that week is going to be super busy for me because we're viewing. I've also got other stuff like doing my Twitch. There's a big release for that. And it's it's a DLC for my favourite game of all time. So that's going to be something I've got to do. Although that's lesser because of the viewings. But yeah, anyway, I'm not releasing any videos because I'm not going to have enough time to edit things. Like, I know I'm only doing this, Classic Doctor Who and Blake 7 at the moment, but I'm going to have very restricted time to edit. So I'm going to film when I can to try and get a few episodes ahead again because I've caught up. So I had some weeks where I wasn't able to record, but I'm, gonna, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be finished before that we start posting the last two episodes well after this one we've only got two so of course i'm going to be able to finish that i don't want to finish it i'm really nervous like i'm nervous about this one because i like that's like the first stuff with izzy and jackie and also the stuff with blackbeard and steed i love them and oh, lucius i almost forgot to talk about lucius and his finger Got bitten by Mr. Buttons. And obviously it got really infected and swirled up. And that, and then he just went... Just, it, wait, it, it, I can't remember what he said, but he said something. And then as they were like, ah, already freaked out. And then he just tripped off his finger. I thought it was going to be fake. Like playing on the fears of the other guys as well. But obviously he couldn't feel it at that point. Because of the infection. And he just literally cut it off. Like he cut through the bone. In one snip, blood spurt out, and then he collapsed. Like he just cut it off and oh, him and P. That is not a pairing I ever would have seen coming. Like when they were intimate and like um, we John was in there, and then I think Izzy walked in. I just thought that was a one-off thing that they were helping with stress type thing. But no, it's so cute. I love. They're so adorable. They still haven't addressed. All the stories that Black Pete was telling about him being on the ship with Blackbeard. Just put that out there. We'll see. They probably won't know, but he just not I would love it if they did. It would be interesting. But yeah, I really love Lucius and Pete. They're so cool. Obviously, Steed and Ed are hot, but look, I love Lucius. I love Lucius. I love Fang. Love Adewale. I'm saying that right. I'm I'm doubting my names now. It is Adewale, isn't it? Please tell me the subtitle say it, or somebody says it in this episode, so I can reassure myself. I love Fang. Fang's so sweet. You're so sweet. Anyway, I've been waffling on for too long. Ten minutes now. I need to shut up and we need to get on with this.
Now we need to get on with this. I don't need to shut up. Otherwise, what kind of reaction is that going to be? I'm tired. I'm feeling weird. Can't you guys tell? <laughs> but yeah, um, if you enjoyed the reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. I'm looking forward to this. I've got my gentleman pirate hat on. I've got my Darren Hayes t-shirt on from his concert. I'm feeling good. I'm excited. Nah. How's Ed feeling? Well, thank oh, you. Oh, is Steve wearing the robe? Or is it a different one? Mm. Oh, it's perfect. You got it just right. I know. Oh. A dollop of milk and seven sugars. Six. It wouldn't be the same with six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love how Ed's being now. I know. I thought I might just sharpen the old sword, prepare for the next adventure. The next adventure? I can't stay around here forever. Why not? The ship has only one captain. captain? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Your ship? Who are we saying is captain right now? Me. Him. Right, captain. Bad news. Hold okay. that thought, will you? Hey, listen. Don't feel as though you need to rush out on my account. I mean, we're all enjoying your company. Hey, he said bad news. What's that? I just wasn't built for sitting idle, man. Uh, Captain. What is it, man? Where no food? Oranges? Oh, for scurvy. Now, the thing is, we really needed the oranges. To treat the scurvy. Scurvy? Who has scurvy? Uh, hello? My teeth keep falling out. Oh, no! Oh, there's the orange. Well, there was the orange. Look, I hate to toss anyone under the carriage, but it does seem like bad meal planning. Hey, there was that cake you had me make with the 40 orange glaze. You wasted 40 oranges? 40 oranges? Full of oranges, and we're right near there. Oh, anything exciting to do? Oh, Jim doesn't look that excited about it. Nope. It's boring and awful and the humidity? Do you understand what that'll do to your hair? So? What? I'll wear a hat. Are anyone else's fingernails falling off? Oh no! All of the oh sweet. Is that Jim? It is, and that's the knife. That's why it's so important to them. Scared of something with steam? No. You had a pretty strong reaction just then. Yeah. Yes, you did. Not a single orange to be found. But I may have got something even better. Lucius, tell them what I've got. It's a treasure map. They need the oranges for scurvy. It was an investment, and we'll recoup once we find the loot. It's going to be complete bollocks, that, isn't it? Why don't I take a few men out on recognizance, see what we can't rustle up? Oh, that's surprisingly helpful of you, yeah. Blackbeard. Thank you. Does anyone have a little baggie? I'm saving my teeth so I can put them back in. Yeah. Oh, is, sweet. Uh, teeth, once they're out, they don't go back in. Oh, no. Oh. You, please help. Please get more oranges. The teeth I like don't he's got go a slight lisp to his voice now. I'll go for a run, sweet. Oh, I want to hug him so bad. Poor guy. Oh, Jim. I like it. We've got Wee John as well. And Frenchie. I don't even know what your favourite colour is. What's that got to do with anything? Everything. You don't know anything? Friends tell each other these kind of things. Teal. My favourite colour is teal. Who are you? <laughs> they just started talking. Yeah, but Jim's the kind of person where if they stabbed me, I'd be like, yeah, probably deserved it. I love how they're referring to Jim's stay already. It's awesome. Is there a problem? Now, that was incredibly badass, especially for a nun. Don't yeah. Don't kill us, sister. I'm in the tribe. Yes. Just join. <laughs> in the tribe. Nana. Bonifacia. I go by Jim these days. Well, come in, Jim. We'll have cake. Nana. But you think it's hilarious. This is fucking fascinating. That's your nan. Jesus. Uh, uh. Coming, Nana. Oh, I like that immediately. Come in, then. It cake doesn't just doesn't question the name. Nothing. Right, I'll be hiding over there by that tree. Whenever you decide where the fuck it is, we're going. It's just a map of the island, really, isn't it? Now look, we're going to have fun today, and that's an order. 
You can't really order people to have fun. Yeah. We just did. Guys like Beckbeard, they live for adventure. It's like nourishment. His outfit here is making me think of this outfit from Jumanji. Is tu marido o están viviendo en pecado? Mm. Oh! No, no. Muy bien. <laughs> Ay, muy, muy bien. Oh! Eh. Hurry up! <laughs> I love Nana. Figures. Who else would agree to get paid with oranges? <laughs> <laughs> Only Pete. Oh, even Jim smiled. Oh my God, I just realised the, the spade has got something over the top of it. They're really awful of blood though, aren't they? Like little flying grapes. <coughs> oh God, I think I just want to... Oh, one. gross. Dryo Kemper Rubicanda, or the Candy Melon Silk Moth. Oh! Yeah, I've got a phobia of moths. I know it's silly, but I've got a phobia of moths. And who says treasure maps are useless? There we go. Well, I wasn't being sarcastic, that's just how I talk. Well, love what <laughs> you want, but without the map, we wouldn't have found this little guy. So it's already paying dividends. Please stop. I know it's, it's not real. It's not real. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm going back to the show. <laughs> so I, I really don't like moss. But it's on screen. It's okay. As long as it doesn't start moving. <laughs> quite relaxed right now. You Fuck off! Fuck oh, me. God, a snake. Fucking snake, you fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 Tiger so much. I love him. I'd come to your restaurant. You might not get him. It's not <laughs> very popular. You'd save me a seat, wouldn't you? Maybe. What night Ooh. do you want to come? Saturday night. It's a busy night. <laughs> I bet Lucius can see what's going on here. You must go to dinner and then you can walk past all this fishing gear that you can buy. Maybe a gift shop out the back. Then you could say, oh, I hope you enjoyed your meal. Have you seen the gift shop? What do they say? Oh, no, thank God. He can nice so meal. see what's going on here, can't he? I'll go and have a look. Oh, yeah, well, that's the guy I'm after. I want him to come. Who's he? That's me. Oh, they're so cute. Little bit in your beard. No, come to the down a bit. Just up, up a little bit to the, to the left. Yeah, I'll get it. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, God, he sees it. What? what? Oh, you can see it. He can see it. It's adorable. That's your specialty. Snakery snackery. Snake snacks. Oh, snake snack. Oh, no. They're going to get lost now, aren't they? Shit. How can they... They're not going to see it burning? This child was not raised to kneel or to turn the other cheek. I taught them how to be silent. I love that Nana is already calling Jim they. I love that. Yeah, but Jim used the family dagger, which I thought was a pretty nice touch. I was there. He was, he was very surprised. Eres una decepción. Hey! Es la decepción. No fue eso lo que me enseñaste. Oh, Jim. Never got a proper childhood. God, if I could be moping all the way back to the ship. You'd have to be a dick about it. What? I said don't be a dick, okay? Because he's put together this whole outing for you. For me? What? Yeah. Look, you're very cool. I love that Lucius is the first one to see it. But everyone is worried all of the time, whether they're interesting or adventurous enough for you. And that bizarre little man over there likes you very much. And you like him. And if you can't get over yourself long enough to realize that, you're going to end up another leather clad, middle aged, sad sack, dying alone, puddle of his own piss. Oh, Lucius is the one that told him. Oh my God, I love that. It's Lucius. Good on you, Lucius, for standing up for your captain. Oh, oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. it was Lucia's. Oh, and he's trying to please somebody he likes. It's so cute. We might as well head back to the ship. You're right. It's a stupid idea. Oh, I'm actually a little disappointed. I'm starting to have fun. Come on, help you with this. Little scrappy bit of paper that looks like a tree, doesn't it, boy? Yeah, no, definitely just to me. And the, the other little squiggly bit, what's that little one? Yeah, like a, uh, like a road. river or a road. road, road, road yeah, clear or as a day. river. Mm. You know what? I think just with this little bit here, we could probably sort this out. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I love that! Shall I prepare the shovel or...? Uh, well, we didn't come all this way to not dig something up. I love that! That's so cute! Okay. Oh! Look at the way he's looking at it! This way. 
think. Oh, I love the way that Ed just looked at him. That's so sweet. Don't. I will still be in your fucking place. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. That was... Stomp out the fire. Stomp out the fire. Stomp out the fucking fire. But that was so cute. I love that Lucius was like, Oi, he's fucking doing this for you. You like him. He likes you. Fucking do something. I love it. It was him. That's my tree. My parents planted it when I was born. Oh, this was sorry, my family's land. Where am I? That's where I grew up. This oh. is where it all happened. Where it? Oh no! Don't show us, please! Don't show us. Well, you're the. Oh no! That's the one that killed her father. Is the too many pronouns? I'm so sorry. At one time, fucker. Bothered, sorry, but the hair is in my eye as well. That's why that's the one that bought that's the one that mattered. I don't remember the rest. Must have liked it out. Oh, Jim! I was out there for weeks before anyone could find me. Christ. Oh, Jim, I'm so sorry. You're surprisingly well adjusted for an orphan raised by a nun to be a killing machine. If... <laughs> <laughs> Well, you cruise your family. Well, if you wanted. I could be a family. I could be family. I just... Aww. Come on! Oh, please, come on! You sure this is the right tree? <laughs> Fuck you, Steed! Oh, come on, we were gonna get a kiss! Lucius, come and help! Okay. I'm literally the only person here with a wooden finger, but, uh, sure. Too late! I've got it. What is it? <gasps> I think rock. it's a rock. Yep, yeah. <laughs> oh, this episode's so adorable. Hey, look at that. It's an orange. Hmm? Petrified. It's a petrified orange. Old tree still had some fruit to give after all. Oh, give it to Jim. I suppose you should have it. It's your land. Oh, that's nice. It's cool. Finders keepers. Oh, thank God. I didn't want to give it to you. <laughs> okay, back to the boat. Oh, this episode's been adorable. You're not coming. I can't. Nana was right. I have to finish the job, not for no, her. No, don't. For me. I'll leave, come with you. Be careful. No, we're not. No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Be careful. Jim's not staying. I've loved this episode. This has been such a nice episode. Oh, no, no. Said there to finish the job. Lo siento, hijo. La vida es dolor. La vida es dolor. Aww. Aww. Why is he making me emotional? He looked like he was going to cry. I don't know if I, uh, well, agree that a ship can only have one captain. Hmm. I suppose if you found the absolutely two perfect people. That work perfectly together. Co-captain? Co <laughs> Aww. Just Ed now thinking over his feelings more. This with Jackie? Is he? And what about him in that deal? And what about him? Oh dear. I don't like having their kind in my establishment. Makes you feel any better they ate it too. Oh, Izzy's not working with them, right? He's not. Well, this is quaint. Lee awful. Why? Shut up. So why do they call you Spanish, Jackie? Well, no. A little bird has told us that you've got it in for Steve. Oh money. no, they're working with the Sorry. English shit. Killed my brother. Is that a fucking cat? <laughs> we can serve Steve Bonnet up to you for a price. Oh no. Name it. Oh no. Ooh. Well, I like this. I like that music. Oh dear, that's trouble. I love this episode. It was so sweet. Like, 
poor Swede. I felt so sorry for Swede because he, he just like, he couldn't understand why his teeth were falling out and then his fingernails and oh, I hope he's, he's got more, at least some teeth left and some fingernails, poor thing. But he was the one that thought about them going out and looking for it. He did show the initiative. Obviously he did it for um, Blackbeard to know, but he did do it. He came up with the idea. I love Lucius in this one. Luc I love Lucius. Just one, like the way he was just going along with what the captain was saying, what Steve was saying and doing. But he read Steed easily. He's read Blackbeard easily. He saw them interacting with each other and was like, oh my God. And then the way he like, spoke to Blackbeard was like, he did this for you. He likes you. You like him. I love that. I love that he's outright told him. He stood up to Blackbeard. And he outright told him it was a it was awesome. I love Lucius in this one. I adore Lucius. Like obviously I love Steve and Ed, but apart from that, I think Lucius is my favourite. I really like Lucius. And to think I didn't like him in the first episode. I thought he was annoying. And now I absolutely adore him. Absolutely adore him. I really do like Lucius. He's so sweet. Oh. I wonder what how Ed's going to think about what um, Lucius said. And I love that after Lucius said that, he was like, mm, I think we could do that. Get the fuck over here. Like, indicating to Lucius, is like, well, oh, yeah, I, that, does, that does look like a tree. Yeah, it might be a river or a road. Yeah. I love that. That was so sweet of him. Like, even if he's not thinking about his feelings in that moment, he's like, shit, he is doing this to me to make me, give me something to do. I better do something. And stuff like that. It was so cute. And just, oh, they're so cute together. They're so sweet. And, oh, Jim. I feel so sorry for them. Like, one, their father get killed. I'm assuming they did say all of the family, so that probably the brother as well. I'm assuming that was their brother. But Nana then, I don't know if it was real Nana or just somebody that found them, but raised them to kill didn't get a proper childhood after that poor th I feel so sorry for Jim I don't want to lose Jim especially now because I'm really intrigued even more so I'm poor Ado Ado one day. I said Adewale Ola one day. Oh, I'm so sorry Ola I did have it and then I haven't said it like last episode I think or my head's just all over the place I don't know Ola one day. I was saying Adewale why was I saying Adewale for Ola one day. They almost kissed. Kissed. They almost kissed. And then Steed fucked you. Why that moment? They almost kissed. Like I almost said they're first they, they were the first ones to kiss, but then obviously we've had Pete and Lucius. But Ah, oh, Steed, I love you, but stuff you. <laughs> Why that moment? But he was like so eager and excited and then they're so happy they found the orange. And I do like the fact that he tried to give it to Jim. But oh, this was a really good episode. This is a really nice episode. I love this one. Like, episode five was my favourite. But I think this one's right up there with it just because of what we got and how they did it. It structured well. Everything... Both plot lines of the treasure hunt and then Jim's family and also the um, scurvy stuff as well. It all melded and worked well together. It was all played out perfectly. It's so well structured, this show. So well scripted. <laughs> I love Tyka trying to whip the life of that snake. Like, Lucius was just the perfect additive to that, like, that moment he just it just worked so much better with lucius being in there too i said i don't know i've already said it but i love lucius for standing up to blackbeard and telling him you like him he likes you fucking do something about it and then at the end where they were like drinking the brandy and stuff like that i really i thought they might have kissed then or at least looked at each other and like steve gone i don't think maybe steve is probably I think now Ed's going to be the first one to realise it. Maybe Steve's not realised it and he's just caring for him and he hasn't, like, tweaked, like, oh, that's what I'm feeling. 
I mean, I don't think Steed has figured that feeling out yet. I've got three episodes left. I thought I had two. Yes. Ten episodes, isn't it? Hang on. Ten episodes. So I'm going back. I just... Ten episodes. We've got three episodes back. Left. I got it wrong. Three episodes left. But... Oh... I, really, I think Blackbeard's going to be thinking about it now, like going, crap, I do like him, don't I? I like him. He was so sweet. It was such a sweet episode, an emotional episode. Like, all of one day, almost made me cry at the end when saying goodbye to Nana. I'm still fucking annoyed myself getting the name wrong. I've been saying all right all the up until this episode. Like, please don't like. Please don't have a go at me for getting the name wrong in the beginning. I'm terrible with names. I've said it so many times before, but I'm just really annoyed I got his name wrong. But all I wonder, he really did always make me cry. This is such a beautifully well crafted, well done show. It's so good. Three episodes more. Like, I kind of want to watch them all before. Like, I bring out the next episode after this one. But I kind of don't as well. To kind of space them out and make it last a bit longer. Because I don't want this show to end. I know we're getting season two. But I don't know when the UK's getting it. Oh. And, like, I want to watch it. Like, on BBC iPlayer or wherever we got it. I want to watch it that way. But I, I don't want this season to be over. This is so good. I know. I know. Somebody said there's been no talk of DVDs or Blu-rays yet. I hope. I hope they bring one out because I think this is the perfect show for something like that for physical media. Like, okay, like you get stuff on iTunes, you can buy the series on like a series on Amazon or stuff like that. The certain I still like the phys, having the physical thing, like displaying it on my shelf. Like nowadays, I will watch something online and if i really like it i'll get the physical like version of it i really really want the physical version of this if they bring one out because like i want it on my shelf like i i can only imagine what the artwork on the box on the case or box set or whatever would look like it'd be so beautiful just look like having all the behind the scenes stuff in one place and i want bloopers I love this show. I love this show. Like, I know we've got three episodes left. So glad there's three and not two. Because, like, I was thinking, how the fuck they're going to get together in two episodes? It'd be feel a bit rushed. Three, just right. I need more. I love the show. Like, this is right up there with Good Omens. Right up there with Good Omens is my favourite. Like, Good Omens was my one favourite show. I've now got two two favourite shows. This is right up there where that I adore this show. Absolutely adore this show. I'm so glad I decided to react to it. I'm so fucking happy. I love it. Ah, I still wish there was more than three episodes left. I don't want this show to end. I really don't. Oh, I also want to watch the next episode to see how Ed acts on the what Lucia said. I. No, it's about 25 past 11 at night. I've been stumbling over my words, getting things wrong in this reaction. In doing another one now, I'll, it will be a disaster. <sighs> it really will. Like, my head is trying to convince me, stay up and watch it. No, it will be a mess. Even more so than this one. I can't, I can't, I can't. I really want to, I do. I'm going to shut down the, bri the browser window so I don't have the pictures in front of me as a temptation. I fucking love, I love this show. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now I've got a message on my screen saying OBS has crashed. It better not have fucking crashed. Otherwise all this is gone. I need to check it. If you're hearing this, yeah, it survived. If not, shit. We'll just see. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye.